What's up, y'all? Well, I decided I'd work on a little bit of my junk today. This is my Johnson Red 2152, 346 top end. That is trash. And I'm going to put a new cylinder on it. Yes, sir. Maybe. Maybe stuck on there. Oops, loose right, that one's loose. Yes, yeah, yeah, they're all loose. Well, sucker don't want to come loose. Glad it ain't any good because I just beat the snot out of it. Yeah. Now oh, it's loose. It's all never made compression like I thought it should. And it's got a it's got a death ring up there. It really don't look like it was a problem. And I cut a bunch out of the squish bin. Anyway, I never made a compression. Even when it was new. I mean, it was okay when it was new, but then it just kept getting worse. So I figured that death ring was causing trouble. Maybe it's just a crappy ring. No, I don't think so. I think it's got, no, it's got a caber in it. I really don't know. Don't matter now. It's history. Stuck on there. The one that I put a Warhawk on that one for Timber Slasher, and that cylinder made way more compression. And I didn't near near the machine work to it. So, I don't really know, like I said, that don't look bad up there. Regardless, I got something for it. It's way better. You just wait.
we got the intake epoxied on that thing. Ah. Yeah, that's a camera ring. Like mint. Kind of weird. I guess you'll have that with aftermarket sometimes. LEM style freaking circlips. Hmm. That's going to be a minute. Hold on. All right, I got the piston off there. Got the gasket cleaned off. Ready to unveil the goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I wasn't messing around. I love this saw, and it's worth it. Plus, this old boy on eBay had him on sale. Look at that. Brand new. Mole. This is the new edition. And, uh, look at that. Circlips. Two sets of circlips. Well, I need two sets, I guess, in case. OEM rod bearing, little end. Oh, that cylinder is nice. Look, it's not even drilled for a decomp. Perfect. Gosh, OEM cylinders are so nice. I just wonder. Wonder how this thing time stock. I wanna I wanna try to duplicate that. I really liked how that one run I built for timber slasher. I'm going for that. Not as low as exhaust roof as the other one that was on here. No death ring. I want to at least straighten that squish band up. Nice molly piston. OEM ring. Whoever makes them, probably molly, I guess. Yeah, wasn't it pretty? Let's look at it. Just look at it. Look at that again. See that? Yeah. Them cylinders are reasonable. They were under a hundred bucks from Fix My Toys. He sells on eBay, but you can go to his website, Husqvarna dealer. Yeah, for under a hundred bucks. I bought two of them. I got another one sitting over there. I got a 2145 over there that may get converted to a 346. I like these little gel syringes. Clutch is worn bad. Look at that. So 
noisy. I got an aftermarket. I might throw an aftermarket one on it, a new one on it. I got a farmer tech over there. That one's just noisy. It's been noisy since I got it. Let me get a gasket here. Partially blocking the impulse there. No, it's not. This all began life as a catalytic model, which probably essentially burn it up. Um, uh, we gotta take this off and get the timing wheel hooked up on it. Probably gonna have to take the handlebar off for the timing wheel. I didn't even think about that. I missed this saw. I used it a bunch when I first built it. Now it just got to running like garbage. I knew something was wrong. I've had good luck with some some more hawks and some not to the point that I won't buy another one. I don't think there'll be any trouble with that one for a timber slasher. It didn't make good compression. I didn't cut near as much out of the squish band. Basically how I want to do this one. Different set of knives. This one had like a 108 exhauster if it was like a tractor. Almost too, too much. I 
little more speed out of it for what it's for for me I wanted more speed get you all set up here and then I'll do the machine work off camera and then we'll put it back together What did I do? What did I do with the bag? Oh, right there. I got a 2159 over there I want to build. And I looked everywhere and tried to find the old style cylinder with transfers like that in it and not the ones with the caps on it and I couldn't find one so I bought a meteor it was meteor or highway and I don't like either one of them but I bought a meteor I don't know. I may regret it. I got, oh, I've got options. I got a 2159 there with a good cylinder, I think, on it. Or not a 20, or a, a 359. But it's got the EPA style cylinder on it. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do yet. I ain't got time to get into that one because I want to tear it completely down. And rebuild it. Look at that. Ooh, boy. Very first brand new OEM cylinder. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I can do that. Stupid. I'm 
pretty sure this. Pretty sure this cylinder had a. This saw had an aftermarket cylinder on when I bought it. Sure it did. It has a 353 style, you know, 21 the cylinder is supposed to be on it. 353, 2152. Bearing or uh transfer caps. So yeah, no, it didn't have the original one on it to begin with. It's got a super low exhaust. It's got a hundred and seven exhaust stock. Wow. Twenty two. Wow, that's crazy. Seventy on the intake. All right, that's just a ballpark. I'll check the squish, but it don't really matter because I am going to at least clean that, flatten that squish band out. Let's see if it's under thirty. <laughs> Should 
just did touch it. That's probably 28. Around 28 squish. I just want to guess because I don't care that much. All right. There's eyeballing numbers. Which ain't hateful. Now we're going to do what I do. All right, later, y'all.